Hi parents, guardians, and students. The following tutorial video will walk you through how to make an incredibly memorable radio advertisement. Similar to print advertisements, radio advertisements see students bring together a variety of different media elements that we've learned in isolation throughout the year. Remember, when we create a radio advertisement, we need to appeal to a listener's imagination and mind. After all, they're not seeing anything. And we need to bring together all of those media elements in a memorable way that become essentially an earworm, a concept that finds its way deep into your mind and repeats itself over and over again until one feels compelled to follow through on learning about a product and perhaps purchasing it too. Before we examine our radio advertisement graphic organizer and success criteria, let's take a look at a couple of strong radio ad samples that may set the tone for our production. It was a rainy day in Pizzaville when I got my fill. Ponzo combo, Ponzo combo. You get two Ponzerotti ready to party and two Pepsi bottles to make it all naughty. Ponzo combo, Ponzo combo. Only twelve ninety nine. They're fine. Let's dine. It's time. Ponzo combo, Ponzo combo. Call Pizzaville for the Ponzo combo at seven three six three six three six. Yo yo yo. There are a multitude of reasons why this radio advertisement is effective. Firstly, it's no ordinary tell and sell. The entire commercial is set to a rhythmical rap. And the individual who's rapping has a very unique and distinctive accent. The name of the product is repeated over and over again. We also hear a repetition of the phone number and a product add-on is mentioned. You might recall that it includes some Pepsi. One eight seven seven cards for kids. K A R S cards for kids. One eight seven seven cards for kids. Donate your car today. One eight seven seven cards for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. That's cars with a K. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a free vacation voucher of three days and two nights. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. There are a few people I know who have yet to encounter this radio ad before as of the recording of this video. This radio ad seemingly plays on the airwaves constantly. And there's something to be said about setting a phone number to a a very, very memorable and perhaps annoying tune. The product, in this case, the donation of a car for tax purposes, is well explained and a website is cited too. It's worth noting that immediately after the phone number is mentioned that the slogan appears and it is set to a tune as well otherwise known as a jingle. Donate your car today. It's -a me, Mario. You wouldn't believe what happened in the last leveler. Mamma mia, let me tell you. A jumper on a Yoshi. I start a playing. Suddenly, the two of us hit a block. We get a coin, and we go spend the coin on some Jones soda. That a lousy Koopa Troopa. You surprise me and guess what? I lose my life. -a. It's -a me, Luigi. My brother Mario. I heard him lose his life. Woohoo! It's -a my turn to chase the Jones soda. Oh no, woohoo mama! It's a ghost level. A 
I'm not scared of the ghost, but I'm not scared of the Jonesy soda. Whoa, I'm a beating the ghost. Ooh, there's a door. I'm going to enter it. Ooh, mama. It's a Bowser. Why are you attacking me? It's the Jonesy soda that I want. Leave me alone! It's Princess Peach who stole the Joan soda! Hey! <laughs> Quit hating on me! Let's join forces! Come on! Let's get her! She has to have that delicious Joan soda! Yeah! Let's get her together! Woohoo, man! I want to try a new flavor! It's a delicious blue bubblegum flavor! Mmm, sounds good. Let's take a photo after we defeat her and send it into jonesoda.com. And perhaps they'll put that embarrassing photo on all of the bottles for the world to see. Can you imagine Mario walking into a store and seeing how the two of us got the Jones Soda that he was chasing? Arr, arr, arr. Oh no, Mama! Perhaps we are too late! Ah. Hey! Why don't you attack that star over there and I'll become invincible and defeat her for it? Woo -hoo -hoo. Fine. Ha ha ha, chumps. Girls rule, boys drool over Joan's soda. Your soda. Your photo. Your brand. After listening to our co-created class radio advertisement, you might pick up on the fact that we tried to appeal to our target audience using some well-known characters from the famed Nintendo Super Mario video game series. We tried to be memorable in that we tried to bleep out some words and give the impression to the listener that something rude and alarming was said. We wrote a script with an extensive narrative, included a slogan at the very end, and added some unique outro music. Let's walk through a strong work sample that's available for download on my website. I asked students to imagine that Joan Soda hired us to record a radio advertisement, telling and selling their latest product. We spent significant time reviewing their product and what makes it unique, after which we went through all of the necessary success criteria. We chose to have outro music and mention a product add-on. We placed the slogan at the very end of the radio ad and set our slogan to a tune. We interspersed many, many sound effects. You may mention at the website. We had several characters with unique voices and accents. We repeated the product name at least three times. And after an extensive amount of brainstorming, we selected one memorable narrative that would be best be suited towards our target audience. We then proceeded to write our radio advertisement script. We started off with a list of characters and then took some time to write a blurb describing the setting for our own personal benefit, knowing full well that the listening audience would at no point be able to see anything. We then started off our dialogue. We aimed for unique voices for each character and you'll notice that each character was written in bold, and what was being read out loud preceded the colon. Sound effects were written in brackets. 
while recording. We pause for about a second or two to allow the insertion of the sound effect before reading on. As a post-writing exercise, I modeled for students how we can take different colors and locate the necessary success criteria within a radio advertisement script. By doing so, we've ensured that everything that's necessary has been included. GarageBand is our go-to platform for recording radio advertisements. There's some key shortcuts that I want to bring to your attention. Firstly, remove the metronome button should it be clicked on. By pressing the R button, one will introduce a countdown to begin recording one's voice. Testing, testing, one, two, three. By pressing the spacebar button, keep in mind spacebar starts with S, that will stop the recording. Hit return to bring your playhead to the beginning to listen to what you've just recorded. Press the space bar, keeping in mind that starts with the letter S, to start listening to what you've just recorded. Testing, testing, one, two, three. By pressing the space bar button, keep in mind space bar starts with S, that will stop. Anyways, <laughs> you get the gist of that. I recommend recording in tracks. That is to say that at the end of one recording of a line, click the plus button and record your next set of lines. Rarely can people read a script from beginning to end without making mistakes. Once again, I'll, I'll press the R button to begin recording. Recording. Hi, I'm the new character who's talking. I've stopped recording that. Now, I'll record a third line. The new character who's talking. Hi, I'm the new, new character who's speaking. I hope that quick tutorial will give you a sense as to take it. GarageBand is our go-to platform for recording radio ads. Typically, when you open GarageBand, the metronome symbol is activated. First, deactivate that. Now let me introduce you to some quick and handy shortcuts. The R button begins recording. You'll notice that the 123 number symbol over here has been activated. That's going to give you a four second countdown before recording your voice. Hi, I'm character number one. To stop recording, press the space bar. The spacebar begins with the letter S. The spacebar can be used to start or stop while listening or recording. To return to the beginning of a track and listen to what you just recorded, press the return button. And of course, the spacebar, starting with the letter S, can start off your listening and your review of what you've just recorded. Hi, I'm character number one. You can drag the playhead 
and start recording the second character. Rarely can people record a script from beginning to end without making some mistake. Thus, I recommend recording in tracks. Select the plus button, and you'll notice that a new track has been introduced. Hi, I'm character number one. Hi, I'm character number two. I'm going to return to the beginning by pressing the record button. GarageBand is our go-to platform for recording radio ads. Upon opening, you might notice that the metronome button has been activated. Deactivate it by clicking on it. We're going to be utilizing the R button to begin recording, and the spacebar button, keeping in mind that spacebar begins with the letter S, to start and stop. Hi, I'm character number one. To return to the beginning and listen to what you just recorded, press the enter or return button. Hi, I'm character number one. Rarely can someone read an entire script without making a mistake. Thus, I highly recommend that you record it in tracks. Start a new track by pressing the plus button. You'll notice once again that we'll have a little bit of a countdown leading into the recording, signified by those ticks that you hear. Hi, I'm character number one. Hi, I'm character number two who's now talking. You can also drag the playhead to the very beginning rather than pressing the return button to listen to what you've recorded thus far. Hi, I'm character number one. Hi, I'm character number two who's now talking. Various sound effects can be dragged in place where needed and maneuvered to where they're best appropriate. For the scripts. I typically find my sound effects on YouTube. I copy and paste the URL into a YouTube to MP3 converter. I then drag and drop the sound effect into its appropriate position within GarageBand. I can shorten the length of the sound effect if needed. I can increase its volume or decrease its volume by sliding this tool back and forth as I can with the volume of the recorded voices. Let's press the return button and listen to our radio ad. Hi, I'm character number one. Hi, I'm character number two who's now talking. Musical loops are also available within GarageBand. Click on the loop button. Select instrument. And sample whatever particular music you would like to include. Drag and drop where needed. Don't forget, our Media Studies webpage has mini lessons on all the various components 
needed to write a strong radio advertisement. It also has, available for download, our graphic organizer.